uh, going to talk here about the using the scale factor similarity ratio of two similar figures and, to, and compare it to what the perimeter of uh, the smaller shape is to the bigger shape and also with the areas, All right? So right here, talking about perimeter. Perimeter is distance around. So we can go through and add that up. 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12, All right? Do the same thing here. Add them up. 8 and 10 make 18 plus 6 is 24, and we can see that the perimeter ratio is 12 to 24, or 1 to 2, or you could say 2 to 1, depending on if you want to put the bigger one on top or not. All right. Well, how does that compare to the similarity ratio? Well, let's go ahead, and it says they're similar. Let's pick out the sets that correspond 3 to 6, weird, 4 to 8. And last but not least, 5 to 10. All three of those fractions reduce down to 1 over 2. So as you're reading through your notes, the similarity ratio of two similar figures, if it's A to B, then the ratio of the perimeters are A to B. All right? And so if we know the similarity ratio of these two shapes, going from the 3 to the 6, was 1 to 2, then I know the perimeter ratio automatically is 1 to 2. And we're gonna apply that here in a second. So similarity ratio is the same as the ratio of perimeters. The area ratio, a little different, all right? Area, we said our similarity ratio, the same two triangles, so it's one to two. Um, now the area is base times height, cut in half, because it's half a rectangle, so three times four is 12, 12 divided by two is six. 6 times 8 is 48. 48 cut in half is 24. So the ratio of the areas would be 6 to 24, which if you reduce that down is a fourth, which I don't want to say, oh, it just doubles because that's not necessarily the case. Area is liking to multiply. Our units of measure when we do area is units squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how our 1 to 2 ratio actually works. We're going to write the top as 1 squared and the bottom is 2 squared. 2 times 2 is 4, so I can rewrite it. And hopefully you see that our ratio now that we had at the beginning is apparent and it's there. All right, so how can we summarize that similarity ratio to area ratio? Well, if we know the similarity ratio is A to B, in this case it was 1 to 2, then the ratio of the area of both those shape is A squared to B squared. So those are the two that you need to remember. All right, so here's what's going to happen. They're going to give us two, two shapes, two triangles in this case. They give us a perimeter and area of one triangle. And we have to find the perimeter and area of the other triangle. Well, I would start out with similarity ratio every time. Got to have that ratio. Got to have that scale factor. Um, makes our life easier, the similarity ratio. Well, they give us the bases of the triangle, 16 to 20. Both of those are divisible by 4, so that's 4 fifths. Well, we just said the perimeter ratio is the same, 4 to 5. And the area ratio was that a squared to b squared. Sorry if that's making a loud noise. I don't think I've ever realized that. Making a clicky noise when I write with my little pen. All right. So we have our ratios. How are we going to apply them? Well, we want to find the perimeter of the bigger shape, and they give us the perimeter of the smaller shape. So we're going to use the perimeter ratio of 4 to 5. And then since the perimeter of the smaller shape was given at 36, we're going to put that with the smaller number on top and find the perimeter of the big one. We'll just call it P. So when we cross multiply and divide, 
um, we're solving for P or the perimeter. So when I multiply 36 times 5, that gives me 180. 4 times P is 4P. 180 divided by 4. The perimeter of our bigger figure with only knowing one side is a grand total of 45. Do the same thing for area. They give us the air, ooh, wrong one, wrong one. They give us the area is 48 square feet. So we are going to use the area ratio of 16 to 25. And we are going to set that equal to, well, the area of the smaller one is 48. And the area of the bigger one, we don't know. So we can call it X or, hey, let's just call it area. So we cross multiply 16 times A is 16A. And then we have 25 times 48, which is a grand total of 1,200. 1,200 divided by 16 is a grand total of 75. So now the one thing I was missing this is 45 feet, and then since we're talking area, it'd be 40, sorry, 75 square feet, my feet squared. All right, draw a picture, make our life easier, right? A, B, C is similar to D, E, F. BC is 4, EF is 12. They give us the area and the perimeter for DEF, which is our bigger of the two. So they give us the perimeter is 42, and they give us the area is 96. We have to find the area and the perimeter of ABC. Well, our similarity ratio... is 4 to 12, or 1 third. Our perimeter ratio is the same as the similarity ratio, which is 1 to 3. And then our area ratio is A squared to B squared, so square the top, 1 squared to 3 squared, or 1 over 9. Now we have to find them. So we're going to take the perimeter ratio of 1 to 3, we want to find the perimeter of the smaller shape. So we have the perimeter of the bigger shape this time. So that's 42, the perimeter of the smaller shape. That'll go on the top. 3 times P is 3P. 42 times 1 is 42. Divide 42 by 3, and you get a grand total of 14. And that's perimeter, so that's 14 millimeters. Do the same thing for area. We're going to use 96 this time, and we're going to use the area ratio. So 1 over 9. And again, this is the big area, so that goes on the bottom with the big number. We don't know the other area. 9 times A is 9A equals 96. Divide 96 by 9. It's not going to go in there the greatest. It's 10.6 repeating, 10 and 2 thirds however you want to look at it, okay? So the big thing with this is find the similarity ratio, find the perimeter ratio, find the area ratio. That's the hard part. Then you set up proportions to with the perimeter and the perimeter ratio to find the, the second perimeter. And again, same, same thing, area ratio, area of one of the shapes, find the area, set up your proportion, cross, multiply, divide. Have a good day.